Yo, 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 it's your boy Weston Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist grow on your craft. Now, today we're going to go over how to add or remove a song under the wrong artist profile on Apple Music, all right? So if you're a recording artist who have, you know, a number of different songs and you've checked your Apple Music profile and you notice that there's either a song on your profile that shouldn't be there, all right? You know, it might be from another artist or something like that or there's a song that's missing from your profile, then in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get that fixed, how to get that resolved, all right? And it's not a hard process, it's not difficult. The only requirement that I would say is that you do it on a desktop computer, because it's just a lot easier doing it on a desktop than trying to do it from your mobile phone, all right? And in this tutorial on how to do it, I'm doing it from the desktop, all right? But either way, just to jump right into it, the first thing you wanna do is, of course, is go to this website, all right? The artist.apple.com dot com slash contacts all right i'll actually put this link in the description of the video as well so you could just click on the link from the descriptions all right but once you click on it the first thing it's going to ask you to do is go ahead and put in your apple id all right now if you're an artist who haven't actually set up your your um apple music for artists page yet and you actually haven't gotten an apple id yet you have to do that first as, as a matter of fact you can click on this video above and i'll show you exactly how to do that exactly how to get your apple music for artists account including creating your apple id so if you haven't done that yet you want to do that because you need to have an apple id to log in to submit this form all right but whichever the case if you already have that go ahead and put in your apple id go ahead and put in your password and log in once you log in it should bring you right here to your to the to the um contact form all right and the first thing the first thing it's going to show you is your name and your email address, all right? It should already be filled out. But the next thing it's gonna ask for is the artist information. In this section, here's where you want to go ahead and type in your artist name, all right? And you also gonna need the URL for your artist page, all right? Now, in order to do this, it's actually very simple if you don't know it. All you gotta basically do is you go out to Google, all right? You type in your artist name and you put Apple Music behind it, all right? It should show you the page. And then once you click on the page, it should look something like this, all right? But from this page, what you would then do is just go to the far right-hand side and, and click on the three dots that's all the way to the right. You click on right here. Go ahead and click on these three dots, all right? And then you should see share, all right? You click on share. From there, it's gonna show you a link that says, um copy copy link to clipboard you go ahead and click on copy link you have it all right then all you got to do is go back to the contact the contact form all right and then go ahead and paste the e or the website directly in in that box all right in the artist page url box you could control v you could right click hit paste whichever is more convenient for you, all right? But once you have that, the next thing that you wanna do is pick the topic, all right? So you hit topic uh, or topic, the drop down box should come out, all right? And then you should see artist page issues. That's the one you're gonna wanna click on. That's the one that's gonna get this resolved, all right? Once you click on that, some more, some more things are gonna come out for you to fill out, all right? There's gonna be this paragraph right here, all right? And then it's gonna ask for you to type in a, a description. This doesn't have to be long, all right? Just be clear about it, you know, type in what's going on, you know, whether it's a song that's missing from your page or it's a song that's on your page that shouldn't be on your page, all right? But you go ahead and type, type, type it up, all right? Then it's gonna ask you for the link to the song, whether it's here, the first box right here, the, the the link of a song that shouldn't be on your page or this one down here the the link that is the link to the song that is missing from your page all right so then what you would want to do is you would want to find the link to the song and that's the same process as getting the link to the artist page so in my case because when this happened to me it happened to me as a song being on my page so in my in, in my um case what i had to do is simply go back to my page locate the song which is this is the song right here and go ahead and click on the three dots that's next to it once i click the three dots that's next to it again hit share hit um, copy the clipboard and then boom i have the link to it i go ahead and put in the link right into the place that it says the the link to the song that should not be on my page and that's all set because that's the only song that's on my page that shouldn't be on my page and then from that point what you would do is you would just go ahead and hit submit all right once you hit submit you should get this confirmation screen right here all right and that's it that's it that's the process is that simple the cool thing about it is um they get back to you really quick they don't send you an email or anything like that they just take the song off or fix the issue all right 
Typically for me, when, when I've had to do this in the past, it has taken like two to three days for it to get off. So it's not something you got to wait months for or weeks for anything like that. It's a quick process, but you must fill out this form to do so. Don't, don't try to call them or email them or anything like that. Just go through this process and it'll, it'll be done quick, all right? Now, if you have any additional questions on how to do this, all right, if there's any part of it that you may be confused about, please feel free to leave comments in the comment section below. I'm literally here to help you, all right? If you have any questions in regards to anything in regards to the music industry, music business, music coaching, whatever, also feel free to leave comments in the comment section below. I'm here to help you, empower you as an independent recording artist, all right? But whichever the case, thanks for tuning in. I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Crop like creme brulee Reppin' my god man I ain't changed So I ain't tryna hear